Biodiversity is us. This was the common message of all keynote speakers on day two. As Dr. Russell Mittermeier from Conservation International so notably stated, biodiversity is essential for our survival. Without maintaining biodiversity, we are not going to have the ecosystem services that derive from biodiversity. And these ecosystem services are essential for our long-term survival as humans. And this is in a tremendously important area. It's the most pristine, most intact rainforest area left on the planet. And we really need to define fully its values, both in terms of uh, species, conservation, indigenous lands, and the services such as fresh water, carbon capture, all of these things that it provides for the world. It's critically important that biodiversity not be seen as an esoteric subject for a bunch of specialists and some groups of animals or plants or whatever, but rather as the essential underpinning in long-term sustainable development, which we talk a lot about, but much of what we're doing is not sustainable. You know, as we always say in Suriname, sabi sanyabi, recognize what you have, recognize that you're fortunate. I say all the time when I come to countries like Suriname and Guyana, you're privileged, you're so lucky because so much of the rest of the world has to do repair the damage and invest billions of dollars in restoring ecosystems that have been destroyed. Here at much lower cost, you can maintain uh, the existing ecosystems, the natural forests, the grasslands, the savannas, the other, the rivers, all of the wonderful things that you still have intact. So as you embark on a development path, don't do the same foolish things that other countries have done. And also you have indigenous people who are still the stewards of large areas of tropical forests where they're able to make their own choices. In most other places, the indigenous people have been pushed to the side, choices have been made for them. Here, indigenous people's rights are respected and there's an enormous opportunity to really have them be key stakeholders in the future. And I think that that's what's happened in uh, Suriname with the Southern Suriname Conservation Corridor. That's what's happened in uh, Guyana with the community-owned conservation area of the YY people. This needs to expand even further because you can get it right in the Guyanas and you really don't have that option in most of the other parts of the world now.